Hello, oh, this is Ripper of Ripper Gaming, and today I'm going to be covering how to get FIFA 23 working on the ROG Ally. Now, um, normally you just install a game and it works, that's correct, but uh, if you're not having an issue, then no need to watch the rest. If you've got your game going, you're good to go. Uh, but this is something that I realized um, I ran into myself and other people on the internet have run into, so I thought I would put a quick video out there to help people out. So um, the first thing we're going to do, if it, it, the way you can tell if this has a problem, is you hit play here, um, and it just kind of sits there. This minimizes, everything goes away, and it doesn't look like anything's working. So what I found is that there's actually uh, an anti-cheat app that runs, and it does not have the right authority to run, so it just kind of sits there and locks up. So we're going to go and look at how to fix that issue. So if we go to our drive where we have the game installed, which this game has a, takes a lot of resources, so you probably don't want it running off a micro SD card. Uh, so it should be on your C drive. So we're going to go into program files. Uh, so you'll go into this PC, local disk, program files. And then we're going to go into EA. Sorry, not EA. EA games. And so in here you're going to see you've got your FIFA 23 folder. So once you click on that, I want you to scroll down and you're going to have two different um, EA anti-cheat things here. Now one's a DLL. Now that's a, a dynamic uh, link library that is basically just an instruction set that tells the game how to run. Um, now in this case it's not the game, it's the DLL for the anti-cheat service. So uh, we're going to go in here and I'm using my mouse um, through a hub. but um, if you don't have a mouse, you can simply hold on the screen and it will bring up this menu right here. So when you get that menu up, you're going to go to properties. And then inside properties, you're going to go to digital signatures. Click on this one right here. And then you're going to click on details. Now go over to view certificate and click install certificate. And you can just hit next, 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 and it'll say it was successful. So you're gonna go ahead and hit okay, 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 close out of that. Now come down to the actual executable. The, the, you can see it's got the icon for EA there. And you're gonna do the exact same thing there. So we're gonna go to properties for this one. We're gonna find digital signatures, click on that, details, advanced, or sorry, not advanced, details, certificate, install certificate, next, next, next and then it'll say the import was successful. So this is a digital certificate and it's basically just signing it so that your computer has it installed and knows it's valid. Now once we do that, you should be able to go straight into FIFA and hit play. Now it's gonna bring up the EA anti-cheat, which is what we just gave permission to. So if you see this, you should be good. So it'll take a minute to bring that up and then after it runs, it should go ahead and launch the game from there. So, as you can see, it's starting to launch there. So, um, if you get it to come up like this and it doesn't move forward to this, then sometimes you just need to restart the game or maybe restart the computer after you've installed those uh, certificates. Uh, and then it should work. That's what I had to do in my case. So, um, just, just a quick video. Hopefully that helps you if you're stuck trying to get FIFA running. Uh, and uh, if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. Thanks all.